the, the Palestinian Arab Israeli conflict started or was maximum when Israel declared its state in 1948. Okay? From 1948 till the 70s, there was no jihadism phenomena at this scale. And we were at war with Israel. After the 70s, when actually many of the Arab countries became having peace with Israel, we started to see jihadism phenomena. So when you put these things in time relationship, you can see jihadism is not related in time to the existence of Israel as a state. It was related to the increased wealth of Saudi Arabia at the late 70s. So it was not starting from 1948, it started basically in the late 70s when the Saudi became rich. And what have the Saudis done with that money? They supported, increase... the Saudis supported jihadism and to some extent, but what is ma ma was more important was the perception in the Muslim world. They thought that because of the, that Saudis uh, applied the Sharia laws, God blessed them with money and wealth and petrol. So we started to adopt their ideology and it replaced our relatively moderate ideologies that existed at that time. This one thing. The other thing, if the Arab-Israeli conflict was the cause of the problem, why we don't see Arab Christians not contributed to terrorism? They also suffered from, the, if, if it was suffering, they also could have suffered from the Arab-Israeli conflict. Why they don't do terrorism, the Christian, Palestinian Christians? Why they don't do suicide bombing specifically, okay? So where is the jihad, the same where, where does the uh, incentive come from? Uh, I'm, I'm telling you just the last part here in this logic is that if, yeah, if yeah. It, it's not logical to convince any person that the Arab-Israeli conflict can be the cause of killing 300 or 200 100,000 Algerians by the hands of the jihadists, or Sunnis killing Shias in Iraq. So trying to blame the Arab-Israeli conflict for everything is extremely unfair and illogical. This is number one. The main source of the problem is the incitement of hatred against the Jews and Israel in our religious text. Even though the Quran has many positive verses about the children of Israel, describing them clearly as the Bani Israel or children of Israel, Remember the gifts that I have given to you and that I have preferred you above all mankind. This is what the Quran has said. But through different ways of interpretations, the, the message overall in the current Islamic teaching is hatred to the Jews and Israel. And this is the main reason. In fact, in my view, it's the only reason for the current Arab-Israeli conflict. And who's promoting that kind of teaching in the mosque? The religious mullahs and the scholars, okay, on one hand, and the people here in the West who are claiming that there is no problem in the current Islamic teaching. I mean here some of the liberal left who, who claim that there is no problem in the current teaching. They are encouraging these mullahs to continue this hatred.